let's start. Yes, you t- ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. We'll do it very quickly. Um, so my name is Jens. I work for Red Hat on Verdo. I would just want to give an update on what's happened since last FOSDEM, what we've been working on. Um, so we we'll skipped this. Everybody knows what Verdo is, right? Um, and so last year I was here and I talked about the Verdo 1.1 specification and uh, went into more specific of what we did for um, the new feature called packed word queues and other things. Um, so that's, um, you can go and watch that. Um, now I want to talk about um, what we did for the Verdo specification in the meantime. And later in my talk I will go about some other things that happened in the Verdo space, some topics there. So Verdo 1.1, so Verdo is a, that's a specification for Verdo, it's a standardized um, under the Oasis umbrella and um, for Verdo version 1.1 we're focusing on performance improvements but also on how we can make it easier for hardware vendors to implement Verdo in hardware and to make um, so there's a few <coughs> new features, feature bits for that. Um, there's also other things changed in Verdo not related to hardware. And um, we have some new Verdo devices that I will talk about. Lots of, um, c- people, lots of co- um, companies or vendors or um, people in the community contributed to uh, Verdo. And the current specification that's under final review for uh, 30 days, I think, maybe a little less now. Um, final review so your c- people can look at it now and then after this period it will be published. Um, so what did we do for hardware support? Um, last year here I talked about uh, packed word queues and how it's a simpler way of implementing word queues. Uh, we went from having two ring buffers and many other data structures in shared memory to one ring buffer um, that makes it more cache friendly but also um, more friendly for hardware implementations because they have only one place in memory where they have to go and look at if new descriptors are available, things like this. Um, we introduced some feature bits. Um, so one is for uh, memory barriers basically. Um, hardware devices have different requirements for uh, memory barriers than a software implemented device has. There's a feature bit for that, so if you turn, if the device turns this on, that means the driver has to use different memory barriers. Um, There's a feature bit for um, restricted memory access, so on some platforms it can be that um, the device cannot access all of memory (coughs) for different reasons. There could be IMU, there could be some other address translation from bus addresses to physical addresses, something like that. So that would be a way that the device could say, hey, I'm on this, uh, I'm restricted with respect to memory, and then platform code would have to handle this kind of things. <coughs> um, there's another feature bit for enabling specifications only for specific descriptors. So in our descriptor ring, let's say, um, that uh, I want a notification uh, when descriptor X becomes available, and only then uh, a notification is, is sent basically. Um, and then another thing is that we can attach additional data to notifications. So things like um, what's the last, uh, what's the latest available uh, descriptor, um, the latest used one, the in pack, uh, case of packed word queues also, um, the rep counters, things like this. I talked a little bit in more detail about um, Hardware, with our hardware accelerators and what we did there um, at DEF CONF. Uh, the slides are online and I think there will be a video as well soon. Um, so if you're interested in that, then um, you can go and look at that. Um, another thing that we're working on is a video net failover device. Um, so this is basically for in the guest, in the VM, you would have um, automatic failover for um, networking, so you have basically uh, three devices, um, a failover device, a primary, and a standby device, and um, the failover device basically handles um, switching from one to another, 
so the primary device could be a pass route as an IOV device. So far, you have a very fast data pass. Um, and then you have virtual net as a standby device. And this is nice for a few things. Um, one thing would be that um, you can do hypervisor controlled um, live migration. You basically unplug the uh, fast SIOV device and it automatically switches over to the Verdeo net path, which is slower, but you can use um, the Verdeo live migration code, Verdeo live migration framework to migrate to a target system. And there, if available, you can plug another fast SIOV card for fast networking. Um, so the guess part of this is upstream. Um, in QME, we're still working on this. Um, there's still some discussion about different approaches, um, how to involve management or not, a management layer or not, things like this. Um, so still work in progress. Um, we have some new virtual devices um, that were worked on during last year. We have a virtual IRMU. Um, we have Vertio Crypto, which is basically so that you can make use of a um, crypto accelerator and a host in your guest. Um, we have Vertio VSOC. Um, it's basically for guest to host communication via a socket. Um, you basically open a socket with a new address family and you can use that to implement guest agents or services in the hypervisor, things like this. Um, Verdeo GPU, we had this before, I think, but now they have um, 3D support. Um, they basically um, push down graphic state to QMU and that translates it to um, OpenGL and then passes it to the, to the GPU. Um, Verdeo MEM is a device that's still being worked on. It's for um, memory hot block for the virtual machine and it's a, basically a unified approach. Um, to handle all of this in QMU, handle different page sizes, um, support NUMA, things like this. Vadaya Balloon was there before, um, but has a new feature for um, free page hinting. So basically, the guest can say, hey, um, or it can report to the, to the hypervisor, hey, these pages are um, free. And one thing where this could be used is for um, faster live migration. There's a Vada of S that's still in progress. Um, it's to share files or folders um, between guest and uh, the hypervisor. And then I also heard someone talking about this working on, or they are working on uh, Verdeo Audio, um, but there's no patches yet, so we'll see if that uh, ever shows up. Verdeo Hardware Accelerator, so I talked about what we did for the specification. Um, there's actually one device that supports this now. Uh, from Intel. It was announced uh, last year at Open Vswitch Conf. Um, it's an FPGA based card. It's uh, very powerful. Once it, one of the things it can do is um, virtual net offloading and hardware. Um, and not only for the new virtual 1.1 packed virt queues, it can uh, it supports uh, virtual back to 0 0.95, I think. Um, so, yeah. There's also uh, work going on on the software side. Um, Intel has been doing a lot of work here. Um, basically, they implemented a new framework that, um, so that you can make use of the hardware card with the existing virtualization stack. Um, they have patches for QMU. They introduced a new um, MDEV in the kernel to have a generic device interface for, that will work not only with the Intel card, but also with other accelerator cards. Um, and the basic idea of this framework is to decouple data paths and control paths so that you can have the data paths pass through to your VM and you have the control path still going via QMU and via uh, the VFIO interfaces. And so basically you have the advantage that you have a f very fast data path, pass through like performance, but you have um, features like live migration um, can work. Uh, for this rather easily. There was a talk about VDPA at KVM forum last year um, that goes into much more detail than I can do now in my 10 minute slot. Um, this is something I will not cover now and you can go and look at it. Um, and coming to my summary, 
Um, there's the new Verda 101 spec. Um, the final review is only on for a, la for a few more days, so if you're interested in this, if, um, then go and look at it now. Um, if you don't have time now, we can always add features later. Um, it has a lot of uh, changes, especially for um, hardware accelerators, but for lots of other things that I didn't cover now. Um, and what I think we will see in the uh, future um, is more work on page hinting, um, more hardware implementation uh, features, and also I think that there will be work on uh, VDPA for containers. Um, it's the end of my talk. I have a monthly meeting that we do um, on the phone, so there's mailing lists and everything, of course, but um, if you're, for example, if you work for a hardware vendor and are interested in, uh, in, in implementing Verdo and hardware and you have specific questions, you can also join us in this monthly meeting that we have. The next one will be February 13. Just contact me and I will uh, put you on the invitation list. I think that's it. Thank you.